are you tired of seeing your pathetic YouTube numbers not grow anymore? I ran out of breath. Ah! Well, you've come to the right place, my person behind the screen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video because you might actually learn something new here where people are charging $60 for you to learn some stupid facts about growth on the internet. I'm telling you for free. I'm Editor Trey, by the way. I will be popping in once in a while to give additional information on what I said in the video, so enjoy. Lighting. Lighting makes a big difference. Before I actually start this video and I started again in the middle of it right in a few seconds I just wanted to say like this is from my experience I've been doing YouTube for six years now I even went to college for digital media and I have Premiere Pro a good editing software so I'm fortunate enough to have that for now these are some little tricks that I've learned these things that I wrote down are just like some things I thought of while sitting on a couch I was like okay this is gonna be number one number two number three not really in any specific order that'll actually kind of be it so I've been you doing YouTube for six years now. I do have only a thousand subscribers, so it's not that impressive. But watch the video, understand the message, digest it, and give me your thoughts because uh, this is kind of important to me and uh, growth is very important to me. Uh, don't worry, I'm not one of those like, you know, alpha male YouTubers that are like, you know, you gotta get your numbers up, that's all that matters. No, it, I'm kind of like a mixture of like, uh, the vibe from, I guess, I don't know, I just do DIY challenges, skits, I kind of do all those things, I do gaming every once in a while, like right now I'm playing Undertale, but yeah, tell me what you think about this entire video, the next two clips that you're gonna see of me are gonna have bad lighting, cause I recorded it after the big chunk that is where the video actually starts up, <coughs> but that's it, I hope you enjoy, uh, like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> I didn't even need to say bye. Oh, uh, I also wanted to say upload cute videos of your puppy or cat. YouTube love cute shit. I swear. Also, try to uh, swear less. Le less. Don't swear a lot. I think that hinders your uh, potential a lot too. Uh, every also everybody loves how to's e everybody needs how to's but try to make the how to video under two minutes under four minutes is good like four minutes but like that's like the max because every time a uh, how to video or tutorial is over five or ten minutes it is just way too much if, if a tutorial will be over ten minutes it should be something that's like 3d modeling on like graphics in Maya but if it's like a Photoshop tutorial try to make it under four minutes and that's like actual advice I feel like that's like more helpful than anything but this how-to video is over 10 minutes I think so I've, I've already failed you uh, YouTube shorts I don't know about you guys but my YouTube shorts do crazy numbers every time so make some YouTube shorts forget about the fact that your YouTube channel how you like it to be organized and just throw a bunch of YouTube shorts in there and that's that's pretty much it put this at the beginning Trey Oh, and uh, put this at the beginning too, Trey. There's also some things that people don't even realize that they like about you that keeps them around. The theme colors of your channel, the vibe of it, the way that you make your thumbnails, and the vibe of it that just all kind of communicates together and just makes them like your channel a lot. So there's definitely something with that. I don't really know how to explain it, but I do know that it's a thing. Like, I know red and yellow are more eye-catching. I learned about this in college, okay? So like, <laughs> I kind of know what I'm talking about. If it's like red or yellow it'll be way more eye-catching and like or like green it just depends on how you use it and what color you put with green be careful with green green can be very annoying if there's just something about you like if you wear the same shirt every time more than likely you will it will get the viewers to just like have a question and then they'll just stick around maybe you'll say it in a video maybe you won't maybe you'll do a Q&A but they'll stick around and try to see why but like this is all within a matter of like milliseconds and they don't even realize that they're wondering it so like there's a bunch of those things as well just think about that keep that in mind there's just a bunch of things that you can do and not even explain it'll keep them sticking around you know so like why is his name beep to bot maybe he'll say it I don't know what does beep to bot mean it doesn't mean anything he just came up with it yeah all right you know, this is, uh, I wanted this to be like a sketch or something, or like, you know, a lot of effort put into it, but I was like, people will be just fine with a regular how-to 
TikTok-y video, okay? This isn't how the video is supposed to be. I was supposed to be going outside, doing some crazy challenges, do the do the Coca Mentos challenge, and it, have it shoot in my face, and have that be the bit for that one second, and then come back to the sofa talking, and, you know, I'm wet as fuck, covered in Coke and everything, the Coca-Cola. But there's, like, some weird weatherness in the Atlantic right now, you know? Right now, as I'm recording this, it is, right now, it is August 29th, and there's some sort of weirdness in the Gulf right now, and the, there's, I'm saying that there's probably a hurricane right now, so, like, I have only day 99, which is today, and 103 and 104 to, to record for 104, for me to be completely done with the project, and there's some other stuff that's after 104, but those can be done on my own time, not every day after. I, in other words, I don't know how fast that thing is coming, I still need to put a bunch of effort into day 103, of course, weather permitting. <laughs> I just need to wrap things up really quickly and uh, this, I'm using this hurricane as some sort of incentive to hurry up and wrap things up here. Take my time with it as much as possible, but also hurrying along. I'm just gonna be telling you from what I know, I could probably help inspired small YouTubers get some more inspiration and someone could maybe come up from this, I don't know. It all depends on what you mean by, I wanna be successful. Do you mean, I wanna be successful, I have all these millions of subscribers, or I wanna be successful and just enjoy what I'm doing? You may be thinking that the last thing that I said is what this video is gonna be about, but this is answering for both of those things, to be honest. Like, if you have the second thing that I said, I just enjoy it, then you're gonna have the millions someday. It just depends on how you do it. Also, algorithm permitting. <laughs> Just like weather permitting, algorithm permitting. Personally, my favorite part about YouTube is getting comments. I don't get those all that often. I like seeing when I get comments. So first thing, I have eight things. No, seven things. All of this that I'm about to say is algorithm permitting, okay? First things first, this is obvious. You hear this one all the time, and that's to be yourself. And I see it too damn much. You try too damn hard to be someone else, and you're leaving yourself in the dust. There's only one you on this damn planet, and that's and that and that's unique enough. So stop trying to follow in freaking someone else's footsteps exactly the way that they took them, and try to take your own path. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one was just kind of personal, man. Number two, be interesting, okay? Nobody wants to come to your channel and see like a webcam that is like you. It's just like. You know, it's the run on a potato. I'm joking. It doesn't matter the equipment that you have. I just want to put that out there first off, for, first off, okay? It does not even matter the kind of equipment you have. Some people seem to think that, oh, if I get the best equipment possible, the audience will just grow and I'll be popular, famous, and everybody will freaking like want to make sponsorships with me. No, okay? No, stop it. You can have the old family camera that you haven't used for years and you know just take that camera and start using that one i did that i started filming on my ipad mini if you don't have the practice behind it of talking to a camera then you won't have the confidence or practice or or grit to talk to the camera so like stop trying to say or convince yourself that i need the best equipment and you know it'll just carry me to the top, right? It won't, it just won't. You need that, you need yourself to be ready in order to use all the equipment first, right? And that goes for every single thing. Sports, YouTube, movies. You need to have your foot in the door first. You need to have been on a set first. You can't just jump into it, right? Maybe some people can. This, this, there's that possibility that say after every single one of these things, some people can. Being yourself goes a long way because you'll end up hating it and you'll end up quitting. Number three, have an idea. And I have in parentheses, what genre will it be for? DIY, challenges, how to's, do's, don'ts, ASMR, challenges. I put challenges twice, whoops. I have a story. I started an ASMR channel a few days ago and my God, it is doing good. I already have 25 subscribers. I've been uploading daily, twice a day, day daily for how many days now? Not even a week? Anyway, whatever. It's doing really good, and this is why I added 
uh, at the beginning of the video, what do you mean by successful? Because sometimes you upload something and then it kind of gets caught in the algorithm and it rides up the algorithm kind of, and uh, you get 300 views instead of 3 million or something like that. Every now and then I think you get lucky. I've never hit a million views. I think one day it'll happen, but I've never done it before. It just, you just kind of upload something and then kind of hope it gets hit in the algorithm. That's my <laughs> perspective of it. That's what I think every time. Also, another important thing that I have written down right here is follow trends. I don't really follow trends all that much, all that I should, you know, I followed the moist critical trend where it's like a different, a bunch of different, like the moist verse, right? The moist cinematic universe. And that video did really well. It hit a thousand. But that leads me into my next thing, which is really important, which is do what you want to do. Make it a binge-worthy kind of thing, right? So like if you want to do like uh, leads to more views, which leads to more watch time and like it gets the impressions up, it gets YouTube to recommend it to more people, thus throwing it into the algorithm. And it sucks that I have to say all of this, but that's what it takes nowadays to grow. Collaborations, that's another thing. That is the mysterious seven, uh, four, 5.5 number. Thing number six is possibly the most crucial part, uh, po most crucial bullet point in this entire video. And that is, <laughs> should have said this first, but love making videos. That's different from convincing yourself that you love doing it. Just let that sink in, okay? Cause you know, if you're doing something that you hate and you stick around with it, you're gonna end up hating yourself. It's like doing a job that you don't like. And YouTube is not easy. I hate, I don't like people who say that YouTube is easy. And me doing it for six years now, I think I, I don't think I, you know, I don't think this is a convincing kind of thing that I've convinced myself that I like doing it. I think now that I'm doing it for six years, just kind of confirms it that I actually like doing it. Six years is a long ass time. <laughs> I can definitely see myself doing this for four more years and hitting a decade. And final thing is make sacrifices. You have to make sacrifices. I don't think it's possible to uh, make progress on YouTube and not have sacrifices being made. One being cutting out your social life a little bit because <laughs> uh, it's like having a job pretty much. You know, make sacrifices, take breaks a little bit later, get a bunch of work done. I made tons of sacrifices. The only times when I hung out with my friends are, are when they were vlogs. Again, this all depends on what you mean by successful. And if you do get the numbers, Congratulations, I wish you the best of luck on your YouTube journey. And yeah, I hope I wasn't too mean in this video. I just kinda, this is what I understand about YouTube. This isn't set in stone. Uh, this does not guarantee you subscribers. Uh, a few of them do, just be yourself, okay? Uh, <laughs> just be yourself. And yeah, then you'll enjoy it a lot more. Be yourself as long as you don't hurt anyone. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe. This video was kind of too long. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video. I will be more than happy to see you guys' thoughts, opinions, or what you guys think about this whole video and what you guys' experiences are with growing on YouTube. Bye. Beep Tweetbot.